The ability to copy and paste in Excel is one of its main and strong features. However, as a result of absolute and relative referencing, this can be extremely dangerous and a number of errors result um, due to this. For example, what you have here is a typical spreadsheet for product A, which has been set up and you're busy calculating the, the revenues and the uh, margins. And what you'll see here is the revenue is taking the price per unit multiplying by the units purchased and that's copied across and the cost of sales is determined by taking the revenue and multiplying it by the margin. Now because of this ability to copy and paste if you've built it once what you may well do is you highlight that section you'll copy it and you'll paste it you believe it's correct you obviously copied paste and it should work however what you have to be careful of is if we for example change that margin to 20 percent you may notice that nothing has changed here and that should immediately raise a concern and what you'll see is if you go to the cost of sale number and you look where it's looking because in this section here you used absolute referencing, you said always look at B11, when you copy and paste it, it followed your instructions. And as a result, your cells are looking at the incorrect calculation. Another way to identify that would be to click on the margin and say what else is looking at that margin. And you'll be warned that there's no other formula looking at the cell and be concerned about it. This is one of the most common errors. It's important to consider what you do when you copy and paste. I recommend you use the auditing toolbar and if you're ever going to do a copy and paste just consider if you have any absolute referencing. And this trace dependence feature is extremely useful because you can quickly tell what inputs are or aren't being used.